Welcome back. We got another video update for you. Today we'll talk about where we are in terms of the high capacity oil pan development for the second gen BRZ as well as the Toyota GR86. We'll go over some information. Um, you may have seen some social media activity regarding the oil pan. We just wanted to give you this update from ourselves and give you the details on what you can expect in the next little while. First things first, header compatibility. Here on the screen, you can see the list of headers that we have either got scans for or have physically tested ourselves previously. Now with this new update, we got a couple more to show you. First things first, headers that don't fit the oil pan. Uh, we tested the Tomei equal length header. They do not fit the oil pan. And we also got a scan of a JDL unequal length catted header. They also interfere with the oil pan. Um, we also have a couple headers that are very close to the oil pan. We have the Tomei unequal length V1 header. Uh, we got a scan of that and it's about one millimeter or less with the oil pan. It's a little bit too close for us to say it will fit for sure due to manufacturing tolerances and the tolerance stack up here and there. Next, we got the Tomei V2 unequal length header. One of our early access testers have successfully fitted this header with our oil pan, but it is also very close. We're waiting for picture confirmation on how close that is before we say it will for sure or not for sure fit the oil pan. Lastly, we also have something kind of exciting. We got the JDL equal length uncatted header. When we got the scan, it was very close to the oil pan. There may have been like a little bit of interference here and there, but we think with the production update of the oil pan, we're gonna make some slight shape changes so that it will fit with the production version of the oil pan. And with that, here is the final list of header compatibility from previously and what we've added to the list from this time. You may have seen the pictures of the pre-production oil pan on social media already. Here we have two examples to show you from ourselves. This one right here looks a little bit older. This is the very first uh, pre-production sample that we got from our vendor. This is a little bit newer, and this is probably the most recent one that we've gotten. Um, there's, this one has some quality issues, and we just won't really go into that right now. But here, this one is the most recent. With that, you can see the shape of this oil pan is really made to conform to the heat shield of the OEM header. So this oil pan's selling feature here is really that it will go around the OEM header without any modification to the OEM heat shields. Next, we, of course, with the shape and the size, uh, you have significantly increased oil volume capacity. Uh, this version uh, has a total capacity of 3.6 liters. We're hoping to make some small tweaks with the production up, uh, version to get it to 3.7 liters uh, total capacity. And with that, uh, we also been asked questions regarding how this would conform to turbocharge and or supercharge applications where there may need to be oil returns. So on the top here, you can see a feature where we have added thickness to the oil pan so that a bung uh, can be drilled and tapped into the oil pan or welded if you really wanted to uh, so that you can have oil return. And there's actually two locations. This is a really convenient location uh, as well as another one over here. So both of these locations can accommodate oil return for any application you may need. In our last update, we sent out some pre-production oil pans to our early access testers. In this update, we've actually gotten some data back from some of them. First, we have Schiff Robinson who's in California, and he drives a 2024 Toyota GR86 Torino Edition. It is a OEM Plus setup. He has a track alignment, wheels and tires, and brakes. He was able to submit data for Streets of Willow at Willow Springs, 
and he's been a pleasure to work with throughout this experience. Next, we have Stephen Ellis, who drives a Gundam livery 2022 Toyota GR86 with a bit more modifications. This car is well prepared and he has a slew of parts on it, including coilovers, big wheels and tires, aero bits, as well as exhaust and a tune. We were able to install the pre-production oil pan just before super lap battles at Coda and we were able to collect data at Coda as well as another track in California. We really enjoyed working with Steven and we're looking forward to more data and partnership in the future. We also have a couple other early access testers in various states uh, in the pipeline. We have some who have installed the pre-production oil pan and just waiting for their track day and others who are in the middle of installation. Uh, with that, we're very happy with the results and the data that has been coming back. And we're really thankful for everybody who has reached out and for our partners who have been submitting the data. It's been a great learning experience and some of the data coming back has been informing us on future developments as well as any tweaks here and there in terms of the final production version. Next, I would like to update you on what's happening with the manufacturing side of things. With the changing economic conditions on a weekly basis and so much uncertainty, we are looking at alternative vendors for manufacturing. What does that mean? We are selecting a new vendor and with that we will need a new mold to be made and new tooling. We're going to take this opportunity to make some small tweaks here and there, but ultimately we want to achieve the right performance, cost, and quality targets for you. With that being said, as soon as we select a vendor, we will be opening up pre-orders and the first batch of pre-orders will receive discounted pricing because of the trust you placed in us and we'll be using this to fund the new manufacturing costs associated with it. As soon as pre-orders open, we will be making social media updates and a video update. So please stay tuned and follow us on Instagram and YouTube. Lastly, we have the FAQ section. Uh, first things first, we've been getting some questions regarding why are we not using a reusable gasket for this oil pan? Um, there are a couple of reasons. Very first one is that the amount of space that is on the upper oil pan to seal against is quite small. It would be pretty challenging to make a uh, reusable gasket it, for this use case, plus the bolts that are used to secure the oil pan to the upper oil pan are very close to that uh, mounting surface as well. Uh, it would make uh, the creation of a reusable gasket very difficult. Next thing is that the gasket is going to be quite close to the exhaust, uh, which means it'll have to tolerate high heat. And uh, with those uh, combinations, we thought it would be best to retain the OEM recommendation, which is the RTV ceiling. Next, we are constantly getting this question of when is it going to be available? When can I buy this oil pan? Um, and our answer to that is as soon as we decide on a vendor to go with, we'll be opening up pre-orders. So um, it is coming very soon. So please stay tuned and uh, either subscribe to us or follow us on social media and we'll be providing an update as soon as possible. We also have a similar question, which is how much is it going to cost? And we can reiterate that it's going to be well under $1,000. Uh, another reason why we are looking at alternative manufacturers is so that you don't get surprise tariffs on top of that. Uh, and that's our goal uh, going forward. Lastly, we also had some interesting questions and uh, some love from the first generation community. The first generation community is asking when we'll be making an oil pan for the FA20 engine. And um, the answer to that is right now we're fully focused on uh, getting the FA24 oil pan to market. As soon as we get the uh, oil pan to market, uh, we can start evaluating our second product 
um, which will likely be a FA20 oil pan. With that, we'll conclude this update video. As soon as we finalize a vendor for manufacturing, we'll be opening up pre-orders for this product. Um, we are working extra hard with all the uncertainties going on in the manufacturing and supply chain and logistics space. And we're trying very hard to bring you a quality product as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Please follow our social media and subscribe to our YouTube and we will be providing an update to everything as soon as possible. All right, anything else that I should cover?